Greetings Barbers, this is Max from Darkstag and today we're going to be going through a classic Caesar haircut. So today we're going to be working on a Caesar haircut. The principle of this haircut is we want to create quite a nice square shape, taking the sides quite short using the scissor over comb technique. We're going to go through, give a little bit of detail through the perimeter of the haircut using a bit of point cutting. We'll then go through, point cut the fringe and we'll layer through the top just to create a bit of texture. So first things first, we're going to section off the top from the sides, working from the recession back. First thing we're going to be working on is creating a little bit of a corner through this area. So we're going to use some vertical graduation in this area. So for this technique, I'm going to be using the Dart Stag Barber Comb 2, which is a classic barber comb. And I'm going to be using the DS1, which is kind of your everyday scissor. It's got a serrated edge, so really nice for cutting these sort of base lines in. So with vertical graduation, basically the principle, the, the idea of the haircut is that you're building up weight into an area. So right now what we're doing is we're trying to create as much weight through this area as possible to really give us like quite a nice tight corner through here. So within the name, obviously we're taking vertical sections, quite small, not over directing in any way. So obviously the purpose of this is to create a nice strong square shape. Just going through small sections, 45 degree angle, directly out from the head. You can kind of use this technique on a few different hair types. So working from quite short to sort of medium to length hair. Nothing too thick, because obviously then you create a bit too much weight. Yeah, that's looking good. So I mean, generally you could use any kind of type of scissor on this. Today I'm using the DS1 just to create a really nice sharp sort of edge to it. The DS1's got a serrated edge, so it cuts these bloodlines in very nicely. So you can point cut this, but obviously it's better working to more of a club cutting technique. So cutting three fingers straight down. So now we've done the back and the sides, we're going to move on to layering. The idea of layering is to reduce weight, so the opposite to graduation. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking it a little bit shorter through the crown and then working to a little bit more length through the top. It's going to leave us a little bit more length to play around with a fringe. The idea of it is again to remove weight and not to build it. For this technique, I'm going to be using the DS Plus. The scissor itself has got a convex edge, so it's generally used for a bit more advanced techniques, but you could use any kind of scissor on this. So this technique you can use on numerous different hair types. Primarily, you want to be using it on shorter to medium length hair. So what we're doing in this technique, we're bringing the hair up straight from the head. We're taking it slightly shorter at the crown and then just working our way up, leaving a little bit more length through the front. This will give us a little bit more texture running through this sort of area and leaving it a little bit fuller through the front. I'm using a club cutting technique and we're basically just kind of create a little bit of a corner through this area, starting a little bit shorter here and then working into a little bit more length. With layering also, you create a little bit more texture within the hair shape itself. So you get a little bit more natural movement. So you want to take each section straight up from the head, not over directing in any particular direction. This technique's better used on a sort of damp to wet hair. You can use it on, you can do it on dry hair. You just get a bit more of a sharper finish if you do it on wet hair. Just make sure to work the opposite way you've been working, just checking your guide, cleaning anything up. And as you can see, just a little bit more texture through this area now. Right, now we've got the sides and the top done. We're just gonna blast through, get that nice and dry, and then we're just gonna go through and finish the haircut off. So the technique we're going to use now is slice cutting. The aim of slice cutting is we're just going to reduce some weight through this, this area through the front. You only really want to be using this on key areas because you can reduce a bit too much weight. So we're just going to go through, just 
very gently just take some of that bulk out of that area. So with slice cutting, you don't want to be doing it on hair that's too fine, because again, you want to maintain a lot of the weight in that area. So you want to be using this on medium to thick hair. Again, not too much. You want to be working the hair, the scissor, or just down the hair shaft itself, opening just ever so slightly, shutting it. Not shutting it so much that you just take a big chunk of hair out, but just almost feathering those edges a little bit more for you. So with slice cutting, you really want to use a convex edge. You don't want to be using anything else. The DS Plus is perfect for this technique. It just cuts through almost like a razor. So we're going to now work onto the sides where we're going to use a scissor over comb technique. The principle of this is obviously just to take it in a bit tighter through the sides. It's maybe tighter than what you would usually do with your fingers, and just for a bit more refinement. So again, working from a shorter point up into a little bit more length. And then this will basically just clean up anything over the ear and just sort of through the perimeter of the haircut. So scissor over comb really refines the length of the hair and really starts to sharp, sharpen up through the perimeter. Kind of gives you a bit more of a softer look than what conventional clippers do. A little bit less militant. So with the technique, you can take the hair generally quite short. Anything from maybe like a three down to almost a skin fade. When scissors over combing, the comb is basically acting as your guideline. So the scissors want to work and follow and at exactly the same speed as the comb is moving. Being careful to not take off too much length. The action's kind of working to like a C shape. So really getting in there the comb and kind of scooping that out. Making sure to cross check by pushing the hair in each and every direction. So with the actual technique itself, any kind of scissor will do, providing that it's sharp enough. I'm currently using the six inch DS Plus just around the ears. And then when I go around to the back, I'm gonna have a go over seven inch. I've seen people do it on wet hair, but I primarily like to do it on drier hair, just so I can really see what I'm doing, making sure not to take off too much of the length. Right, so I'm just moving away from the six inch, and now I'm gonna give the seven inch a go, just to cover a bit more ground, really, through the back of the head. So now we blasted that off, done a bit of scissor over comb just to sharpen off through the perimeter. We're just going to work through the top now and just soften out all the previous layering we've done. So we're just going to cut into these lines through here just to create a bit of softness and add a bit of texture still. Just the end of it, right. So we're just going to demonstrate some chopping in techniques now. The point of chopping in is just to go through and remove any of the harsh lines that we've created when making this sort of shape. So I'm just going to go through vertically cut through into the scissors, back into the hair, just to soften out any lines. You want to be working smaller sections, almost identical to the way that you cut it in. But rather than club cutting it horizontally, you're just point cutting into the hair vertically. So we're just going to go through and use the very tip of the blade just to soften out anything, any lines that we previously created. You only really want to be using the tip. I mean, you can go in a little bit further, but you'll just remove any more. You'll just remove a little bit more of the weight. So just going through vertically, just taking away. So this technique is very visual. So you want to be combing the hair in each and every direction, just seeing when there's any build up of weight. So you want to be using this technique just at the end, just to finalise and personalise the haircut that you've created. You can use it on any hair type. Obviously, the more that you cut in, the more weight you will generally take away. So obviously, you don't want to go nuts on people with shorter, finer hair. So with the technique, you can kind of use any scissor edge. Um, I've done it with both. Um, I've used the DS1 and the DS Plus. It doesn't really matter so much, as long as the scissors are sharp. So I'm just going to point cut through the back, exactly the same principle, just pulling the hair directly out from the head, keeping the hair moving and just using the point of the blade. 
So now we've point cut and softened out the rest of the haircut. We're just going to go through and point cut in some detail, working with the fringe. So we're just going to take the length off of that, sharpen that up a wee bit, get that kind of sitting in, moving over. We'll then move over, point cut round the ear. Again, just creating a bit more of a sharper line, just getting any little imperfections that we put in there. So with the technique, you want to be working as we were through the top, but really just using the very tip of the of the scissor itself. Dependent on the hair type itself, you can get numerous different finishes with it. If you want to super refine and go very slowly, you'll get a harder line. If you want to just ever so slightly just chip into it, you'll get a bit more of a softer, more personalised touch to it. So this haircut is a perfect example of when you want to cut it in. You generally want to work when the hair is dry. And it's basically just softening out and just sharpening up the perimeter of the haircut. So again, we're just using the tip of the blade. You're kind of removing weight and length at the same time. And following the previous section that you've just cut in. Again, you only really want to be doing this on dry hair. With this technique as well, as long as the scissors are sharp, shouldn't really matter. I'm using the DS Plus, but you could use the DS1 as well. And again, scissor length is just completely down to your preference. Move the hair around. Make sure everything's falling well. And then we'll just work around the side and sharpen that up too. So that's the main principle, all the techniques down. What we're just gonna go through, just gonna go through, double check everything, make sure everything's sitting correctly, finish everything up, bit of refinement, and then we'll have a little recap. So just to recap what we've done with our Caesar haircut today, we started with graduating through the sides vertically, just to build up that corner and shape. We then moved on to the top, layered that, working from shorter to length, creating a little bit more texture, leaving us with a little bit of length to play around with the fringe. Then once dried, we refined everything, scissor over combed, just to take it a little bit shorter and tighter through the perimeter of the haircut. We then went through, slice cut through this front area to give us a bit of loose texture, and then point cut through the top. And then to finish it all off, we just point cut through some of this perimeter of the haircut just to give it a bit of softness and just take a little bit more of the length off. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please don't forget to like or subscribe down there. Or if you want to see another video straight away, check out some of these.